Hi, I'm Paul, the Outdoor Movie Guy, and today we're going to talk about doing events in one of my favorite places on the golf course. This could be at your country club, golf course, tennis club, anything like that. Today we're going to look at why uh, outdoor movies do make the perfect event for your country club. We're going to look at how an outdoor movie actually works, why you should try an outdoor movie. We're going to look at a few case studies, a few examples of events that I have done in the past and how well they've worked and why they've worked so well. Uh, we'll give you some great tips with that. We're going to look at the top five golf movies, some great examples. And one of my favorite movies of all time is in that top five. And uh, we're going to look at some great um, event names so you can put them on your calendar, your social calendar for upcoming events to, to spark that interest. And we're going to look at um, other ways you can use outdoor screens, maybe daytime viewable screens uh, to increase uh, enjoyment of events at your club. So your movie event at the golf course doesn't just have to be on the fairway there's many different types of events uh movie nights that you can do you could be doing a driving range drive-in uh you could be doing flicks by the pool some of our smaller screens you can take the backs off them and we can rear project so that allows you to push them all the way up to the swimming pool rear project and then the kids get to swim around and watch the movie which is an absolutely brilliant experience for everybody and then of course you can do the movies on the fairway or if you have a big uh, parking lot you can even do a drive-in movie which right now being socially distanced is a great way to go so how does an outdoor movie work well the easiest way to do an outdoor movie night at your club is going to be to contact a company like fanflix outdoor movies who do fully hosted movies so they'll bring the projector the sound system the blu-ray dvd player and the screen uh, the screen itself is inflatable it's it's light its weight is distributed over a large area so it won't damage your fairways um, on the first fairway is actually a very good place if you want to do it on the golf course on the first fairway is a great place to do it uh, typically because people golfers are not going to be going off there at the end of the day they're all just going to be coming back in on nine or 18 so that's going to be the the least disruption to your golfing members is setting it up there um, typically we like to start movies depending on screen size about 10 minutes after sunset so we can get everything set up you can focus on your members and your guests and you can have a great night so why do outdoor movies make the perfect country club event outdoor movies um, can take many different forms we can be doing uh, flicks on the fairway. We can be doing driving range uh, movie nights. Uh, we can be doing flicks by the pool. The special thing with an outdoor movie is typically they do need to be at night if you're using projection technology. So that means the golf course itself is not going to be interrupted. The golf itself is not going to be interrupted, which is is pretty perfect. You don't want to defer from the primary reason for having a golf club is the golf. It will bring all of the community together or it could be just for a specific person within that community. So flicks by the pool, excellent for, for the younger generation, for the families. Uh, movies on the fairway, you can bring everybody together. Very, very simple way to do it. And the great thing about most of these events being at night is they can actually help to increase your bar sales and food sales in a time that the club would normally be fairly quiet. So that's uh, one of the primary reasons is it really does bring people together at the club and it can actually help uh, with some of that food and beverage sales.
So I have three different case studies for doing outdoor movie nights with some of the clients that I've worked with. So we're out in Pleasanton uh, and I have one client that typically does three or more events a year, but each event is different. And they're very clever in what they do is they, they match their outdoor movie events with the other events that are on the calendar. They do a dive-in movie night for the kids. That's part of the kids' summer program. So after a long day in the sun and everything, they'll then do the, the outdoor movie night by the pool, the dive-in movie, and that works very well. They have a yearly car show for their members. They do a drive-in at the end of the car show, which again is, is a perfect complement and it actually brings more people out to the event than they necessarily would have got if it was just the car show. And then the third thing they do is they do the movies by the clubhouse. Typically, they go for family-friendly titles. And with that, being close to the clubhouse, it always see a increase in bar sales uh, during those events. And of, of course, it's right next to the restaurant. So people are grabbing food from the restaurant, bringing it outside, watching the movie, with the family uh, and having a wonderful night. So it can, they don't, the, the outdoor movie doesn't have to be an event in itself, which it can very well be, but if you, if you uh, put it with another event, it can work to, to complement that other event. Um, another wonderful uh, experience we have every year is up in Marin. We work with a country club there and they have a monthly dive-in movie night for their members. So the dive-in movie night, that of course is aimed at the kids and their families. And again, it's one of those experience driven things doing it once a month. It really it gives that, oh, is this, the, you know, it's it's the last Friday of the month. We're going to do the movie night and everybody comes out to have a good time. People are barbecuing uh, again. They'll have the bar open. The parents are responsibly drinking uh, and it's another great experience. So when we do those events, when I say we take the back off, some of our screens have uh, surfaces that can be shot through they can be rear projected and that allows us to push the screen right up to the pool edge so the kids can swim around and and watch the movie from the pool so that that can be a, a lot of fun and then the the third one was actually a corporate event um and this was one of my favorites it was a corporate event um out in half moon bay area and they did a, a golf cart drive-in at the end of the day so a golf cart drive-in is you've got the big movie screen, typically speakers outside, you'll drive up in the golf carts and watch the movie. So they had a day of golfing, they all set up all the golf carts and watched the movie at the end of the day. And they had cart service um, for each person in the cart and they knew which cart it was because of the numbers. So they had a wonderful night. They watched one of my favorite films that night and uh, another great, great experience driven um movie night so they can be very very varied on what you can do with these outdoor movie nights it doesn't just need to be one part of your club it could be for a uh be used for a corporate outing it's a great way to finish a corporate outing it gets everybody together most systems will have microphones so if you do need to do awards announcements and things like that you'll have a mic on hand so it's a uh, a great way to complement other events that you may have going on at the club Hey, we are on the golf course right now. We're going to play a quick nine holes and I'm going to tell you the best five uh, movies about golf for your outdoor movie. Four of them are not appropriate for family, but one of them is, and we're going to go through each one of those as we play. And I never miss with the seven iron. <laughs> so that was from um, one of my favorites, Tin Cup. I think we can all relate to that movie. I've actually been in the, the situation where I've been in the fairway, I've only had a few balls left in my pocket and I'm trying to clear the lake. So great movie, not necessarily appropriate for family viewing, but one of the all time great movies. So that's definitely in my top five. Tappy, tappy, tappy. Okay, so that's the first hole over. Uh, a fake par, but we'll take it. 
Anyway, so um, next movie, I'm gonna go for that family-friendly movie. Um, the greatest game ever played. It's a Disney movie. Uh, family friendly based on a true story uh, that's a good one for the, the whole country club to, to come watch and uh, super good flick I'm gonna try it again <laughs> oh. yeah Nope. <laughs> that was an attempt at a uh, happy Gilmore swing. And let's say it's a lot harder than it looks, especially with a smaller club. So uh, we'll uh, chalk that one up to experience and get on with our round. Completely underrated movie is Legend of Bagger Vance. Uh, that's got Will Smith in it, really good movie. Also Matt Damon. Uh, as well as some other very noticeables. Um, there's some Bobby Jones in there. It's a lot of fun stuff. Again, not quite appropriate for um, families. And it's also, I, I personally feel it's an underrated movie. It's actually one of my favorite golf movies of all time. Bet you'll slice it into the woods. Can I remind you, sir, that gambling's illegal at Bushwood and I never slice. You can owe me! So that was a movie from, a line from my favorite movie, uh, my favorite sports movie, one of my top 10 movies of all time, Caddyshack. Uh, it's, it's a classic, Bill Murray, all of those. It's just an amazing cast. Rodney Dangerfield, not the most child appropriate movie. movie lots of golfers, you'll hear lines from that movie quoted again and again on the golf course, and it's a great one um, for your members who really enjoy uh, getting back to the, the 80s. All right, the sun's getting very low. So that was uh, that was the top five uh, golf movies. Um, one of them is appropriate for family viewing. Uh, the other ones, uh, you may want to keep it to the uh, adult members of the club, but also such a great thing. And this is a big hill and I'm gonna fall down. Anyway, back to the studio. So I took a poll uh, with various people uh, within the outdoor industry I know um, on great titles for your outdoor movie night. So you you could plan this wonderful outdoor movie night, but if you're not marketing it and you're not outreach um, to your members or people who use your golf course, you're not going to get people to the event. So these are these are uh, movie night snappy titles that we've seen used to great effect. Uh, at golf courses. So I'm going to read a couple of these off. Uh, flicks on the fairway. This is, you know, you put these on the calendars. Uh, screen on the green. Uh, cart in movie. So that's like a drive-in movie, but you're in the cart. So that's always a popular one. Uh, driving at the driving range, depending on your driving range. Sometimes you can clear the balls and put the cars there and, and use the, the, the backdrop of, of where they, they're hitting the balls from. Um, if you have a stacked driving range, have the screen there. Uh, makes a, a, a kind of a draws people's eyes in so it looks really good uh movie uh party i think that's a wonderful one uh, that was actually thought of by one of the funflix founders uh, i love that one and uh, if you're doing a, a movie by the pool um flick and float is always a popular one um dive in movie night anything like that so they're great fun titles to make people interested in uh what you're doing uh, with your outdoor movies at your club. Hey, what do we have going on here? Hey there, yeah. Uh, I'm Matthew, uh, Chief Operating Officer and owner of uh, Funflix. Yeah, we're actually setting up by uh, our LED screen, which is perfect for daytime viewing. Um, we're gonna be out here doing uh, some uh, showing for the uh, the golf course, little advertising. Um, these screens are great for, for concerts, your outdoor venues, drive-in movies, drive-through graduations. Um, you name it, we can do anything on here. Big so, thing now is playing video games as well. Oh, brilliant. And um, 
you can watch sports on this, I guess. In California, we, we really don't see the Super Bowl because it's uh, on the the uh, projection screens. It's way too bright. So these work for that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, you're only going to be able to see the uh, the projection screen you know, after sunset. But these LED screens, they're so bright and perfect during the day. You can start early in the morning with the sun high up, even midday. You're going to see a, a, a perfectly clear screen. Perfect. And uh, how, how do you uh, feed the, the TV in? Um, we can connect anything. We have satellite dishes on top. We can uh, run a streaming uh, device for you if you have a, a hotspot. Um, we have SDI. We can run fi fiber lines for you. I mean, anything you want to connect to these things, we can hook up for you. Wow, so it's not just during, uh, during the evening when you can do stuff? No, no, all day long. We hook up anything. And is this the biggest screen you guys have? Um, no, we actually have a 23 by 13 on its way. Um, we'll be using that quite a bit for our drive-in graduations this year. Um, yeah, it's gonna be our next popular one. These 15 by eights are by far our popular one right now, but once the bigger one comes, everybody's asking for bigger. Oh, wow. And how gorgeous is it out here at Avla? Oh, this is beautiful. We've got perfect weather right now. I'm just excited for everybody to show up. Perfect. All right then, thanks, Matt. Have a great one. Yeah, definitely. You too, Paul. Cheers. Have a good one. So here's just a couple of uh, ideas. So. Um, if you're in California, it's not the same the rest of the country, but if you're in California and you're doing the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl is starts during the day. It starts at 3.30 in the afternoon. Not something you could see on an inflatable screen during the day. Perfect for an LED screen. So if your, your club's doing a, a big game party, because you can't use the word Super Bowl in your advertising, if you're doing a big game party, then that could be a great way um, to watch the game. Um, also, any golf tournaments that you want to show on the big outdoor screen it would have to be the LED screen. Maybe you're doing a Masters Sunday type thing. Everything stops for the Masters for the, the final round. So that could be a fun thing to do outside if you have weather that is permitting for that. LED screens can also be used as a live scoreboard. So some, some newer uh, golf course uh, golf course scoring software will give you displays that can be displayed. So instead of having your your typical numbers that you would have to write on a board, if they do a, are providing that digital um, option of showing it on a screen, why not put that outdoors on a big screen for everybody to see? So that can really add a, a new fun element to a golf tournament that you may be having. Uh, also a great way to, to get a few sponsors' names out there if they are sponsoring a golf tournament at your location. Um, something that I've done and is an absolute blast is uh, I have a little launch monitor myself, but if you have a launch monitor at your golf course, um, you could have a long drive challenge. So you can attach that launch monitor. You can be by the driving range. You can have the screen up so it gets the display uh, of whatever um, launch monitor that you're using. People can be blasting away and you can have a member's long drive championship or, or maybe even the skills. So you can use the golf sim outside. Of course, if you did that at night, um, you could use a much bigger inflatable screen. But that is a ton of fun. I've actually had some some people over at my house before using the little sim that I have and, and watching it on the big screen. And it really gets everybody excited. So that could be a fun members uh, evening event or something that you could do during the day. And um, yeah, the other thing that I have right here is weddings. So if your facility is one that does weddings, um, typically many of the uh, outdoor movie providers will maybe have LED screens. They may have some indoor options and outdoor options. So if they're inside, you've got that How We Met video. You can be playing that. Um, if it's outside, you could use it for signage or the same thing with the How We Met video. So it can add just a little bit more to those private events, whether it be uh, a wedding, a gathering, a celebration of life, whatever it would happen to be. So um, that's just some different ideas of different ways that you can use uh, outdoor screens to enhance life at the country club. So wrapping it all up. As you see, outdoor movies are a fun, fresh idea, a great way um, to entertain a large group of people for not as much as you would think. Wonderful thing about that is it does bring the communities together. It could be a cartoon movie, 
It could be a drive-in movie, a movie by the pool, a movie on the fairway. There's many different locations at the club that you could have that. It will always help out with your bar sales and food sales in the evening, which may be something that you're looking for. And to be quite honest, it's one of the best experiences other than playing golf on a golf course that you can have. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you do have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, if you'd like to see any different type of video, just let me know. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.